Sherry is a saleswoman who goes door to door selling makeup. Um, she's at a point in her life where she's trying to structure her life and make the smart choices. And she lives in this motel. She ends up in bars and, you know, ends up with men, different men every night in her motel room. So she's trying very hard to be a normal person. Um, it's interesting because I saw the movie for the first time last night and even though I shot the movie, it really kind of struck me when I saw it finally. I was like, dude, you're not doing the right thing. <laughs> you should just embrace the chaos that that you are and just join the circus or the circus or something, you know. She's very charming and, and funny in her own way and naive and completely vulnerable and fragile. And she also has a kid that her sister is taking care of because she doesn't know how. She doesn't know how to offer a kid some structure, some structure, and some. So she's also a recovering AA, um, you know, you know, alcoholic. So um, she's filled with nuances and 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 vulnerabilities. And for an actor, it's always fun to play with. I don't know how I do that. It's it's funny because I think we like to think that actors really prepare themselves for parts, but sometimes you do, but most of the time you just kind of feel, wing it. I'm, I guess, a very instinctual actor. I'm. A, uh, we started with two days of improv, which was amazing, because I got to know her a little better and try stuff. And So all the door-to-door -door moments with the women, we did at first. And we would just guerrilla style knock on doors and they would open the door knowing we were coming that day. But they had no idea as soon as they opened the door that we were already shooting and started. So um, it was fantastic. They all played along and it gave me an opportunity to get to know Adam and get to communicate together and know what we wanted to do. And, and so we took a couple days off after those two days and then we started shooting the scripted scenes. So that was a real, I had never done that before, real luxury to just feel the part a little before you get to play the actual scene. Well, one of the most, I think, beautiful ones is the scene with my daughter in her bedroom. She was so light, and, and but she has everything underneath, too, of what she's feeling. And we're not really naming a lot of things, but it's all underneath. And that's what I like about this movie is we know there's so much going on that's not being said. And I think that's kind of beautiful. We're not trying to make sure the audience knows, you know, we're trusting them to feel everything with us. I love that. Um, so that scene was great because we barely have any scenes together. So you have to, that's the challenge, um, creating all this past and all this tension between a child and, and her mother who's not really in her life anymore and make it believable that these two have a charged, you know, life and past together. Well, I think Jen's character is a great example because we never talk about her transition. We never talk about the fact that we probably knew each other before her transition. It's wonderful that it's not the theme of their relationship or, or it's just normal. And isn't that what we want? You know, recently I was doing um, a lot of press for a TV show that I did and and it's directed and edited and, and produced and written by women. And journalists kept say, saying and asking me, how is it to be working with all these women? How different is it? And I was like, it's just the same. They're talented people. And they don't act in a different way because they're women, you know? And I was like, it's great that we're talking about it because, of course, so many shows don't hire enough women to direct some episodes, you know? And I think that we should celebrate the fact that, that our ship, it's called Mary Kills People, that we, this, the women made this happen. But at the same time, I wish that we didn't have to talk about it. So it's the same with, I think, um, Jen's character on, in the movie. We're, we're not talking about her transition. We're not talking about my sister and her partner being lesbians. It's just part of life. You know, we've all accepted it. We're moving on. It's, we're not pressing that button.